Hey guys, I made a glam floor mirror that's inexpensive and easy to make. I'm really excited about this DIY and I want to share with you guys how I made it. So now let's go ahead and get started. I got a Walmart mirror and I covered the middle, prepping it for spray painting. And I spray painted it silver using the silver Rust-Oleum spray paint. I got this place from the Dollar Tree and they come six in a pack and that's what I'm going to be using to decorate the floor mirror. These are the parts of the plates that I'm going to be using. And these parts were removed using a pair of scissors. The plates could easily break while doing this, so the trick is to tilt your hands a little bit to be comfortable enough to go around the plate without breaking it. I'm going to be cutting them to different sizes so this is the first size and all I did was to place this size that I wanted on top of the round ring and cut the remaining pieces. This is the shorter one and like I said I'm going to be using two different sizes for this project. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. So I ended up using two packs of the silver plates to give me all the shapes that I wanted for the project. I got these wooden decor pieces online from an app called Wish. I have always wanted to use these pieces for decorating. So I took them out and I spray painted them silver. And then I covered some part of the lines with gems. These are silver plastic spoons that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm detaching the parts of the spoons that I'll be needing and these are the parts that I'll be using for the project. I'll be gluing one close to the middle and then one at the top. And I did this for all eight pieces. I used tape to mark out the middle parts of the mirror to make it easy for me to glue the pieces on it. I'll be gluing the wooden pieces together with the first set of cutouts from the plates. I'll be gluing the shorter pieces close to the wooden pieces and then the longer pieces are going to be glued all around the rest of the mirror. I'm gluing the pieces at the bottom of the mirror. As I continued, instead of gluing them at the bottom, like I was doing, I decided to just glue the rest of them at the top. As I got to this point, the next piece that's going to be added is the wooden piece. I decided much later to remove the ones that I glued at the bottom and put them at the top instead. And then I went ahead to add the second set of the long pieces on top of the first set of the long pieces. And I'm going to be gluing them all from the bottom. These are the shorter pieces, and like I said earlier, they're going to be glued close to the wooden piece. I 
After that is done, I'll continue with the longer pieces. I'm also going to be using silver plastic spoons and these are the parts that I'll be using to add to the design. And I'll be gluing them at these points. Because I don't want the sharp tip that's on the plates by the sides to show, I'll be covering that up with gems. This is the middle part of the mirror and I'm going to cover that up with gems. These are larger gems that I got from Walmart and they're self-adhesive. Now because the glue is not strong enough, I'm going to be attaching them to the mirror with the hot glue gun. I'm going to add more of these gems to fill up the arcs that are close to the wooden pieces. I use a smaller size gem here and then a very small one to finish the arc. I did this to decorate the middle part of the mirror and I'm going to do the same thing to the top and bottom of the mirror. This is a wooden dowel that I got from Walmart and I'm going to cut three pieces from this dowel with 5.5 inches in height for all of them. I cut them using a handsaw. I then took them out and spray painted them silver. I'm going to pre-drill holes in these towels to make it easier for me to attach them to the mirror. And these are the screws I'll be using to attach the dowels to the mirror. I added extra holes to keep them firm and sturdy on the mirror. So I used two screws per dowel. Now this is what the mirror looks like when it's leaning against the wall. I made another design using these wooden pieces and a 10 inch mirror and all I did was to glue the wooden pieces behind the 10 inch mirror and then covered it up with a round board that I glued at the back and then I glued a hook at the back to mount it on the wall. I also decorated the front with silver plastic spoons and this is what it looks like. I have another design using this plate from the Dollar Tree and this is what it looks like. The link for this video is going to be at the top right and also in the description box below. I really love how this floor mirror turned out and it's so glam and so chic and you can be placed anywhere in the home. The wooden pieces that I used to decorate the middle part, the top and bottom can be substituted with the crown that they sell at Walmart or even at the Dollar Tree. This was such an interesting DIY for me and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and remember to like and share it with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.